Football Fantasy. Welcome to Keepers. It's Thanksgiving, so this week's show will be just slightly shorter so we can get it out to you on Wednesday. It's important that you get your lineup set before your Aunt Alice traps you in a three-hour conversation about Macy's parade balloons. And whatever happened to Garfield? He used to be so popular. Start Michael Floyd. He's logged back-to-back 100-yard -back games, and he'll stay hot in Philadelphia against the NFL's worst pass defense. And that's not an exaggeration. The Eagles give up more fantasy points to wide receivers than any other NFL team. Floyd and Larry Fitzgerald are both safe starts this week. Sit the Chiefs defense. Last week without Tamba Hali and Justin Houston, the Chiefs allowed Phillip Rivers to throw for 262 yards and two touchdowns in the second half. Hali should return for this week's game against Peyton Manning and the Broncos, but I don't think he's going to be enough to bolster a Chiefs unit that managed just two fantasy points against the Broncos in their first meeting. Start Josh McCown. Even if he doesn't produce the 352 yards passing he got last week, you can still expect solid results from someone who's filled in for Jay Cutler with seven touchdowns to just one pick, which is the same amount of interceptions the Vikings D has gotten in their past seven games. They're awful. Sit Lamar Miller. Miller hasn't scored since September, and over his past three games, he barely has more yards than carries. Leave him on the bench when the fans travel to Jersey to face the league's stingiest run defense. Start Martellus Bennett. He torched Minnesota for 76 yards and two scores in the team's week two meeting, and the Vikings have given up 64 yards per game to opposing tight ends over the last month. They simply don't have an answer for Bennett's size and strength over the middle. Sit T.Y. Hilton if you have some depth at wideout. While Hilton's two best games this year were against Seattle and Houston, two of the NFL's top pass defenses, he's managed just 82 yards total the last two weeks against Alteron Werner and Patrick Peterson. This week he draws Werner again, and with Andrew Luck and the Colts running game both struggling, I'd look for someone with a better matchup. There is no trading block this week. I'm retiring it for the season. I assume you're all in fantasy leagues with responsible trade deadlines. Instead, here's an abbreviated list of players I hope that you were able to trade away this season. Ray Rice, Trent Richardson, Hakeem Nix, CJ Spiller, Maurice Jones-Drew, Justin Blackman, Colin Kaepernick, Mike Wallace, Dwayne Bowe, Lamar Miller, Doug Martin, David Wilson, Danny Amendola, and everyone on the Falcons. Thank you for nothing. I hate all of you. It is going to be cold and rainy in Seattle for the Saints' trip to the clink to face the Seahawks on Monday Night Football. Now, Drew Brees is a different quarterback on the road. Only nine touchdowns to five INTs throughout the season. So, even though you're not going to sit him, you need to temper your expectations in those conditions. Hire Rashad Jennings and fire Trent Richardson. Jennings has rejuvenated Oakland's ground game over the past month, so unless Dennis Allen pulls a Bruce Arians and puts the inferior Darren McFadden in the starting lineup, Jennings will be a great pickup, as he has been for me the last three weeks. As for Richardson, calling him a poor man's Ray Rice might be giving him more credit than he deserves. At least Rice has one good game this year. The most you're going to get out of Richardson this year is the catharsis of dropping him. Hire the Bills defense and fire the Texans. The Bills are tied for the league lead in both sacks and interceptions, and their next four games are against cupcakes and sack-prone teams. They're the perfect defense to carry you through the playoffs. Meanwhile, the Texans surrender the sixth most points per game, and they still have to face Brady, Manning, and Luck before their season from hell ends. No thanks. Hire Ruben Randall and fire Terrence Williams. Since week two, Eli Manning's tossed 10 TDs and Randall's been on the receiving end of six of them. And with Akeem Nix banged up, Randall will get the additional looks he deserves. As for Williams, his production has declined every game since week seven, down to one catch on two targets last week. With Miles Austin finally healthy and Tony Romo favoring Jason Witten again, Williams is a desperation play at best. That is all for week 13 of Keepers, your outdoor activity of the week. Put on your sneakers and run like a dragon's chasing you. They're actually surprisingly slow runners, so you can go at a nice, leisurely pace. Have a great Thanksgiving. Set your lineups before hanging out with relatives. We'll see you next week.